this this is what the liquid here the for the liquid so we do have a volume of v of water which is trapped in a fixed vertical pipe okay there is a pipe you mean to say there is a pipe in a fixed vertical pipe of uniform cryovanic fixed partition c so there is a partition c the end and with the help of three pistons p q and r that can slide without friction so okay fine so there are p q r three friction so this c is where c is fixed and uh, this is like a some fulcrum is telling or well, this is like a inch f f will become like a inch it is a, a rod is kept here and these are the strings If the system is in equilibrium, find the height of water column between the pistons P and R. So we are supposed to calculate this height. Hmm. This is the question. Which okay, we'll assume some few things. Again, drawing diagram it will take time. So I'm 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 going to take help of the question which is there in the diagram. So we'll agree this. This H is unknown thing which we are supposed to find out here. Okay, what are the forces that will be acting here? Tension T two. This will be T one, T one. There's a string. Okay, let's take the tension. So there's a air. The air will exert a force on this piston. S P is area of cross section. Similarly, air it will exert a force. P not S Q. Okay, there's a point one, two, and there's a three. So these are the I'm I'm interested at these particular points here. Uh, now it's in equilibrium. It's in equilibrium means what is the first equation you can write it here? Talk about F is zero. So let's write all the set of equation. So T two L two is equal to T one L one. Call this equation one. Next, uh, we'll look at the piston Q. Piston Q. What are the forces acting here? Yeah, the pressure force will 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 be it it will exert a force. The liquid will exert force on all surfaces it comes in contact. Will agree. Now I am able to show arrows like this. What is this? Pressure at that point into area of cross section. So you you write P one into S Q. Similarly here P two into S Q. So let's equate. So for the piston Q, piston Q. What are the forces? P one. So shall we take like this? T one plus P one S Q minus. P not S Q equal to zero. Equation two. Similarly, on piston P, T two plus P two. Okay, this is S P. Huh? P two S P. Symbols. Okay, I'm just according. I'm taking symbols. What do you mean by this? Area of cross section. Pressure into area will be the force. No, here minus P not S P equal to zero. I think almost the problem is over if you are able to write this much here. Okay, come for the piston three. What are the forces? The liquid will exert a force like this. In, in turn, the air will exert a force. See, these questions are there in Pathfinder. Only thing is, student has to read, analyze slowly. He has to make up things here. Everyone knows concept. What what is the force exerted by the fluid pressure into area? So what is the pressure? And and it's there in equilibrium. So what is one more equation we can write? P three into S R minus P not into S R equals zero. 
So therefore, what you can write P3 equal to P0. That's equation 4. Okay, this T1, you can also write P0 minus P1. Tension T2, what you can write? We, we can also write. I, I think I'll, I'll make problem hmm, that, that this much what you could have thought. Okay, let's write expression for T1. So what is T1 equal to? P0 minus P1 into SQ. Now what is P0 minus P1? Shall I write? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. That, uh, rho g h plus y, shall I write? The difference in pressure between these two points. Pressure P1 is needed. Huh? So f from the looking at this, uh, somebody was saying, somebody doubted. Huh? Okay, okay no, no, fine. Okay, that one. So shall we write uh, P3 is equal to, in fact, P0, no? So shall we write relation between P1 and P3? So let's come this one. P1 plus rho g h plus y minus P3 equal to zero. As we know, P3 equal to P0. Oh, I'll, I'll do one thing. Uh, this, I think, uh, will mess up here. L let me write first that basic equation as this. I'll, I'll simplify it. Huh? Because some of you are asking, sir, like, Okay, no. Keep it easy. Okay, now let's get into the calculation part. Now, now, now we know this much here. <coughs> P1 equal to this one. So what is P3? P3 equal to P0. Substituting this here. So P1 plus rho g h plus y minus P0 equals 0. So shall we substitute here? P1 minus P0, the value equal to minus rho g h y into SQ that is. So I'll substitute. So this equation phi you call it phi into substituting phi into so how much T1 will get it? T1 is equal to P1 minus P0 should be equal to so this should be minus rho g h plus y into SQ. I'll, I'll, I'm writing directly Similarly, shall we write manometric equation from 2 to 3? P2 plus rho g h minus P3 equal 0. Call equation 7. Putting 7 in 3, we'll get equation for T2, the tension. 7 in 3, so T2 plus uh, P2 minus P0. So this should be equal to minus of rho g h into s p equal to zero equation six equal to zero equation seven eight. He's asking only that h no the y is unknown thing. How to eliminate y? How to eliminate Y? So what is the total volume of liquid is V, no? So what is the volume of liquid here? V, what shall I write? SR, SR plus H plus SQ into Y. Okay, will I agree this? So what is this part of volume of liquid? Total volume is V, no? So what is this much of volume of liquid equal to? Area of caution of this piston, SR into H, I, and this particular thing, SQ into Y. This particular volume, sum of this volume plus this volume should be the total volume. So shall we uh, call this as equation 9? Put 9 in 6, so we'll get here. Uh, v equal to H S R plus Y is how much now? Mm. 
let, let me substitute that one. So T1 will become lengthy. Huh? Then write in substituting six in nine will do it. Huh? Nine in six, sorry. Nine in six will get T1 minus rho G H plus. So Y will be B minus Okay, I agree this. So this will become equation, what number shall I give? 10. Now we have T2. So substituting 8 and 10 in equation 1. We'll get expression for H. Check the calculation. Can you do it afterwards? I'll, I'll go for the next idea. Substituting 8 and 10 in 1 will get the required answer. Good. So we'll get the answer. Final answer will be H equal to VL1 by L1 plus L2 into SP. So this will be our final answer. Just making observation, nothing is there. Very calmly, what happened? You should make observation, and since they're in equilibrium, net force should be zero. What are that like? Tension, atmospheric pressure, force, the force exerted by the direction of all this, it is in equilibrium. That, that's the core idea, I think, what we applied. 